Meet Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and gr- <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, you guys want to know what's in the mind of Mr. Clean, Dana White. Mr. Clean is the man behind that shine. Is it clean or is it the sun? The coach is about to tell you right now. MMAC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Well, guys, listen, man. Listen. This is not rocket science, okay? This right here does not take a rocket scientist to attach or figure this out what Dana White's plans are. Listen, man. And please don't ask me how I know this, but when I tell you, when this happens just the way I'm telling y'all that it's going to happen, just say, Coach, okay, man, I know you got your ear and I know you keep your eyes on this women's MMA deal. And I'm going to say, okay, I, yeah, yes, sir. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm just, a matter of fact, I'm going to say, hey, I, I tried to tell y'all, okay? This is Dana White's genius plan, okay? First of all, what Dana White is going to do, okay? He's going to do he's gonna do several different things with this Chris Cyborg and Amanda Nunes, the rematch that probably he's going to try to do whatever he can to stop from happening, okay? He's going to do it. But let, let me let me show you what he's going to do. The first thing he's going to do, okay? He's going to find a way to strip Amanda Nunes of the 145-pound title. Now, why would Dana White want to do that? Why? Why, you say? Well, because that ends the threat of Chris Cyborg capturing that title again. Okay? Now, we start talking about the dollars and cents and all this, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay? This will end Chris Cyborg. It'll end the threat of her ever capturing the title again. Because if Chris captures that title, you got a whole division held up. See, Amanda Nunes, for all intents and purposes, she probably won't want to go back up to 145 pounds to even try to even try to get the belt back if Chris were to be victorious. And actually, Amanda is not really interested in being at 145 pounds anyway. She's not interested in it. Amanda Nunes, point blank, will just settle and be at be a bantamweight. Amanda just wanted to be the first woman to win two belts in two different weight classes. Amanda Nunes wanted to do it, and she's done that. So she don't even have a reason to stay at 145 pounds. They're going to find a way to strip Amanda Nunes of that belt, okay? You bet your bottom dollar Amanda Nunes will be stripped of that belt, okay? Now, with Amanda Nunes being stripped of that belt, okay, now what's going to happen next? After Amanda Nunes, or before she's been stripped of that belt, they're going to give Chris Cyborg a freak show fight. Okay, just, you know, they're going to treat Chris Cyborg like she and Ryzen. They're going to give her a freak show fight to actually, you know, use up the last that last fight on the contract, right? They're going to do that. Chris is going to sign, what, they'll either do one or two things. They will not choose to renew Chris's contract, which, you know, hey, that's probably stupid. But see, the thing of it is, though, they Chris, they'll renew it, but Chris will have a tough time getting back to the title shot. They'll put so many obstacles in front of Chris that, you know, by the time she gets up for a title shot again, it'll be time for the renew. And Chris, by then, will be aged out, okay? So, basically, they're going to give Chris a freak show fight for her last fight. They're going to give it to her, and she'll have to accept it, okay? She'll have to accept the fight. Nunez w- will vacate the belt happily because she don't care. She's going to go back down to the Bantamweight division. Okay, they're going to give Chris, and then what they're going to do with that belt. Now, get this. They're going to hold that belt up, Okay. And they'll probably have some kind of title eliminate about, or they'll have some kind of title, whatever, okay, for two people to fight for that belt. But it won't be Nunez. Nunez is going to be stripped of the belt, okay? It won't be Nunez. I guarantee you they're going to have some kind of tourney, or they'll do something to where Chris Cyborg won't get that belt, but they'll let two other people. They'll they'll, they'll make up a ranking list now because Chris got beat. Watch what I tell y'all. There's going to be more fighters in that division. They'll make up a ranking list. They'll have at least eight to ten fighters in that division. And then... They're going to have these people fight each other. They're going to make Chris start at the bottom of the pack. And Chris is going to have to fight her way up to another title shot, which that's not going to happen. 
they're going to make it damn near impossible for Chris to even fight for a belt. They're, it, it's going to be impossible. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Because, see, think about it, man. If Chris Cyborg gets that belt back, Chris is bad for business. And I'm saying this because she's a victim of her own skill set. She's a victim. Like, honestly, Chris, whoever they try to bring in, new, Chris going to go in there and she's going to completely annihilate him. And I know we got all these Megan Anderson fans who just, they, they just stuck on stupid. They really think that because Amanda Nunes beat Chris that Megan will do it. Like, are y'all people, are y'all damn stupid? Like, we got some people with low IQs. Megan Anderson is nowhere, Megan Anderson don't even possess 1% of the technical skill set that Amanda Nunes does. Megan Anderson will get murked, okay? Megan Anderson will take that fade thinking she got it. Megan Anderson will get in there and she'll get embarrassed. Megan will get knocked the hell out fighting Cyborg. Okay, I'm telling y'all that's what's gonna happen. They'll do that, but see that they'll make it more. They'll make it more easier now for Megan to get a hold of that title. They'll make it easy. They'll give us some opponents. They'll call Megan the number one contender, and then they'll have a number one contender bout. But see that'll leave Chris, you know, like a few spots back down, so she can't really get that title shot. She can't get a rematch. She's gonna have to fight her way back up, you know. And then by that time, her her new deal, which she'll probably get about three more fights, that's gone. And then Chris will be aged out, man. So basically, what Dana White's going to do, he's going to successfully age out Chris. And basically, that's it. That's what's going to happen. This is his great plan. And I'm telling y'all, it's going to go down. Watch. When Amanda Nunes, when she's going to get stripped of the belt first. That's what's going to happen first. I promise y'all. And when she's stripped of that belt first, you better listen to this video. Because everything that I told y'all is going to start happening from there. Okay, yeah, they're going to try to make their little bit of money. They're going to try to make more money off Chris. But they're going to make, they're going to put it in freak shows. They're going to let her beat up on some of these uh, new 145 pounders that shouldn't even be in the octagon with Chris. They're going to do that. Okay, they're going to make these rising type events for Chris Cyborg. Yeah, instead of giving Chris some legit featherweights. But in the meantime, in the meantime, they'll probably give Megan what she wants. Probably. Maybe. But I'm telling y'all, it's looking that this is where things are going. Okay? Dana White, you know, I mean, amazing. Why would he shut down the idea of a Cyborg Nunez rematch? Like, why, why would he do that? Like, what in his mindset would make him just shut that down? I mean, do y'all know that this is the fight that people want to see? And people want to see the rematch. People actually want to see the rematch. I mean, there are a lot of people, okay, online. And I've been, I've been really gauging online and the social media. I've been gauging it, man lots of people want to see this rematch and you got to understand amanda got about what you know amanda got like five six hundred thousand people following her chris got almost a million and most of the chris cyborg fans they actually want to see this fight again that's a lot of people like it's so many people that i'm kind of wondering why does dana white ignore this again the whole plot is which i've been telling y'all from the get-go okay <laughs> it was to get that belt out of chris hands so maybe, maybe they might actually do something with the division. Maybe, maybe they might. But I know, I know that they're going to strip Amanda Nunes of this belt. I know it. Guys, I see this coming from a mile away and I'm trying to tell y'all this. And that, that's just the way that is. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harris and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.